I'm going to show you how to evaluate a DNA match at DNA Painter. So I have a tool called the Shared Centre Morgan Project tool. And on the home page, you don't have to be logged in to do this. We can just click visit the Shared CM tool. And once we go there, let me just explain briefly what we can see below here. There is a link I would highly recommend you read called Read More About the Tool and This Update. But to give you an overview, the Shared Centre Morgan Project was founded by Blaine Bettinger and it's a crowdsourced project where he asked genealogists around the world to contribute to the number of Centre Morgans they share for a known relationship. So for example, say I have a known first cousin who's tested, I would have gone to Blaine's online form and entered the number of Centre Morgans I shared with that first cousin. Blaine then compiled over 60,000 data points to make this incredibly helpful chart. Now about four years ago, I made an online version of the chart and that's what we're looking at here. So for each relationship, what's shown is the average number of Centre Morgans shared for that relationship. Then we have the lower bound and the upper bound for that relationship. And these are normalised, so it's the 99th percentile. So that hopefully removes any extreme cases where there might have been a data entry error. So I thought I'd show you how it's used in practice. If we just flip over to my DNA match list here, don't worry, none of these names are actually real, they've all been changed. But if we have a look, say, at the third result there, we have Dennis Wilson. It says I share 135.3 Centre Morgans with Dennis. So I'm not going to worry too much about the 0.3, but if I just enter 135 in here, into the filter box, this is what's going to happen. If we scroll down, all of the relationships that are not possible for 135 Centre Morgans, those have now been greyed out and all the ones that are possible are showing. Now, as we can see, even for a reasonably significant match, like 135 centimorgans, there are a lot of possibilities. So you kind of have your work cut out to narrow it down. I guess I should say before I go any further, the first thing you should probably do is have a look at the shared matches on the testing site, because that might reveal to you at least what side of your family the match is on. But if you're working primarily with the number, here's something else you can do. We have a list of probabilities for the different relationships at the top. And so we can see here that the most likely relationships for 135 Centre Morgan shared are half second cousin, second cousin once removed, half first cousin twice removed, and first cousin three times removed. Now, how are you on relationship terminology? You will need to sharpen up on it. I've got a link just below here which says read more about cousin relationships. And that takes you to the family search website where these things are explained. Hopefully, as a genealogist, uh, you'll reason me up to speed on that. And if you click on one of these relationships, you can actually see a breakdown. So if we click on half second cousin, we can see a histogram. And this is taken directly from the Shared Centre Morgan project. And this shows the curve of submissions for that relationship. So we can see that for a half second cousin, just in the middle there, we've got the bucket, which has 125 Centre Morgans at the top. 135 is just over the curve there, but pretty mainstream result for a half second cousin. So that seems quite reasonable. If we had a look at this histogram and we found that we were way over on the right or way before the shoulder of the curve, then I guess that might make us evaluate the relationship differently and maybe think about other possibilities that there might be. So that is how you use the Shared Centre Morgan project tool. I hope that you find it helpful.